Yo, so today we are going to the Gen Z event in Loughborough. A bit far from me, I'm down in Plymouth in the southwest. So it's about a five and a half hour train journey. Isn't the best, but I'll have to do. So if you don't know, this is an event, well, a networking event, which is hosted by Poku Banks, Austin Okolo, Denzel Jones, and then we've got a guest speaker, um, which is one of the best financial advisors in the UK. So looking forward to meeting him. It's just a chance to network with like-minded individuals, people younger as well. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me, um, just show you guys what's going to be happening today, um, the whole travel journey, uh, how I'm going to get ready for it and prepare. But yeah, let's go guys, heading to my train now. So my train comes at about quarter past nine, dead on the dock, and it's currently quarter to nine. So I need to get my ass moving. But I'll see you guys when I get to the train station. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me, um, but literally was about to miss it i was like one or two minutes off of it i was running for my life my reserved seat has been taken um i can't be asked for the confrontation so i've just got my own seat just a two seat by myself but i did reserve a table i'm not going to be able to talk on the train because it's absolutely packed which i'm quite surprised but i'm heading to london paddington now so i should get there for about half 12 but i'll see you guys in london So I have made it to London. Got here okay on time. I was going to tube to King's Cross St Pancras, but it's way too hot and I totally forgot. It's a bank holiday uh, weekend this weekend, so I'm going to try and get a bath bike. My card was declined on the first one, don't know why. <laughs> it just said they couldn't process the uh, payment. So I'm going to a different docking station and then just take a nice little chilled out ride through central London to King's Cross St Pancras. Gone to two docking stations now and literally as soon as I've gotten there, everyone's like lining up to take a bike. So I've got to go to another one now, which is a bit annoying, but I better not miss my train because I've done this last time and it cost me way too much money. So I'm gonna make sure I do not miss it. It's now the sixth. I think docking station have been to. Hope I see loads of bikes. Just hopefully they either accept my card or like none of them are red. Because that's what's happened to the last ones I've been to. So fingers crossed. Good sign. They haven't got a red light on. So moment the truth. Does my card work? Boys, I've only gone and done it. Finally, after what six docking stations, I finally got a bike. Made it to King's Cross St Pancras, so my train literally comes in 10 minutes. I'm gonna see if I can quickly grab something to eat because I'm starving. I've had square bars and an apple, um, and I had like two meals this morning, but I'm way under my calorie goal for today. But at the end of the day, a few days, bad days, or a few like bad hours, doesn't matter. It won't hinder months and months of progress that you've made. So you have nothing to worry about. Honestly, I wish every station in London was as simple and easy as Paddington. Say Pancras, trying to find just platform three. It's been incredibly hard so far, but I was told it's down this way, so let's see if it is. So, I made it. I'm in Loughborough. Train got here literally on time. It was packed on the train. Couldn't find my seat that was reserved, but it is what it is. I'm currently heading to the Tesco's because I had no time at St Pancras. I seen the Greg's. I wanted to get some food, but the line was massive and I had about four minutes to get to my train, so there's no way I was getting that one. But currently heading to the Tesco's, gonna get a meal deal and then maybe head to a subway and get some food as well. I'm very hungry, as you can probably tell. And then I'm gonna head to a pure gym because I need a shower and get ready. My Airbnb, I cannot check into, but um, after six o'clock and the event starts at half five, so 
yeah, you gotta make do with what you get in it. So yeah, I'm gonna get some food and then get ready for the event basically. Honestly, couldn't be any happier over a meal deal right now. Full on yam that meal deal. Now I'm in a pure gym. Um, I need to get changed, get ready. Um, but yeah. Event. I'm just currently in Costa, oh, no, in a cafe near where I actually just needed to charge my phone, forgot about 10%, um, and then I'm going to be heading to the event. Um, it's currently 4 o'clock, we've got about an hour and a half to kill, so I'm just going to chill here, wait for my phone to charge, and eat this enormous cookie. Cool, I'm literally heading to the venue now. I'm not gonna lie, Loughborough is probably not the best seat I've been to. It doesn't look the best, and the people ain't necessarily the best, but it's what it is. I'm only here for basically a day or so, so yeah, heading to the venue now, and it won't be long. I think it's about like a 20 minute walk. Um, I was gonna Uber it, but don't really wanna waste my money on that. Why is it just hand -off? My name is Denzel. My personal Instagram underscore Denzel Jones. I also have my property page, and a lot of you here are into property. So DJ Property underscore Solutions. As mentioned by Pro Correction, when we started property at 18 years old, we um, created like a free crash course. It's completely free. It goes through like deal sourcing, rent It was about three years ago, so it might be a little bit updated. Hi, right, my name is Ian Penkra. I've recently just turned 17. Um, I make fitness content and I basically strive to add value into your life by providing you the lifelong and life-changing information that will help you invest into your greatest asset, which is your health. Um, you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, just my name, Kian Pankrat, and thank you for listening. So the people with you, bro, if you're on a good start, bro, don't let it slip, Gerard. Don't let it slip, bro, you know what I'm saying? So, bro, honestly, bro, I'm so proud of you all. Here. I swear now. No, no, it's really good, man. Ian, bro, honestly, love you, bro, man. Oh, love you. 
Sure. Love you too, thank you. Oh. So the network event has finished. I'm absolutely ecstatic. Um, the connections, the people I've met today have been incredible. I've networked my ass off. Um, got so many connections with people on social media, um, people doing Forex, all of that. So definitely gonna gain a lot from this. Managed to win an Amazon gift card as well. So I won one of the challenges that they led on their Instagram. If you aren't already, go and follow the Gen Z Club on Instagram. It, they host events for 16 to 24 year olds, um, all to do with business and like-minded individuals to network and meet up with each other. I also had a chance to speak to one of the best financial advisors in the UK, Emmanuel, and he wants to work with me and I, he wants me to help him uh, achieve his physique um, that he would like. So that's another networking opportunity that I've made just by having a conversation and shaking someone's hand. This is the power of networking. Um, as I say, your network is your net worth. Um, and honestly, couldn't be any happier with tonight's results. Um, I'm just heading to my Airbnb now. I need to get some food in me. Um, I think it's going to have to be an Uber Eats sort of thing. Because um, I don't know Loughborough at all. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'll see you guys back at the Airbnb. So, just made it back to the Airbnb. It's a lovely room. Um, I'll give you a little room tour. So, you come through the door here. You've got bed. TV. Little lamp. Got a nice fan. Mirror to show off the gains. And then a nice little window. I'm trying to be quiet because I want to be respectful, but I'm going to order some food because I am starving. Um, but I'm going to sign off here. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming along with me. Um, I've had such an amazing night. Thank you to everyone who was at the event. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if I could have improved on anything or anything like that. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, um, and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. Um, as well, go follow my Instagram, my TikTok as well so you don't miss any content coming from me. Thank you so much and have a good night.